everyone, it's Christina here with Forever Bored Soapery. Today I am making a Satsuma Orange body lotion. Uh, it was a request from a family member who wanted to try a Satsuma Orange scent. Um, I haven't made this scent in the, the fragrance in the past in a body lotion. To be honest, I've only made a few body lotions here and there. I don't know why. I always sell out of them very, very quickly. I just have always been so focused on soap that I haven't made a ton of lotion just yet. But that being said, uh, I love this Zatsu Orange, so I'm looking forward to making this guy. So in my bowl here, I just have my distilled water and honey. And then I do, in my separate bowl, I have my emulsifying wax and all of my oils that I put into my lotion. As I'm looking at the video here, I'm noticing my emulsifying wax is actually getting a little bit low. I should order some more of that. Um, so once I've got all of my oils and waxes melted down, and then I have my water and honey mixture um, heated up to be the same temperature as the oils and the wax, I put my oils and mac wax in my mixer here and then I add to it the water and honey and let them begin mixing. Now, this may not be the fastest way to make the lotions, but I'm multitasking today. So I have the uh, everything kind of slowly mixing in my uh, KitchenAid mixer here. Um, and I keep it on a low setting because if you get too high of a setting, you start getting air bubbles and it uh, will actually expand your lotion, but when the air leaves the lotion as time progresses, your bottle will end up like being half full. I've played this game before. Um, so I, I definitely keep it on a low setting uh, just to slowly incorporate together. And then I, while that's mixing, I'm working on adding my fragrance oils, my preservatives, uh, I add vitamin E to my lotions and some colorant all together. Uh, in this case, it's the Satsuma Orange from Windy Point that I'm using. And I have the Neon Red Orange uh, from Nurture Soap. Uh, this came as part of my red trio I can't remember the full name of what she calls her her real red color there um, but it came as part of that kit and I just kind of using it up um, I don't think I'll order again I'm not a big fan of trying to get the perfect red and mixing the three colors together um, I, I think I'll try something different for a red next time I'd rather just pick one thing and be done with it rather than trying to get the perfect mixture every time. So as my boy or my lotion here begins to cool down and starts to thicken up, so I wait till it's kind of a, a, a thicker consistency and it's looking well, well mixed, then I'll go ahead and add my preservatives and fragrance and everything in here um, and then I continue to let it stir and mix and then while it's stirring and mixing I'm going to go ahead and make the grape juice bath bombs so it's kind of doing its own deal um, and I don't have to worry or think about it too too much and then uh, I can make my bath bombs and come back to it later on. I do find this way takes quite a long time. I'm pretty sure um, it would be much more efficient, guys, to use a stick blender here. Um, 
which I might actually try next go around just to see, but I'm pretty sure a stick blender is going to be so much faster. And then once I've got it all mixed up and it's to the consistency that I want it to be at, I just dump it here into my measuring cup. Uh, it's just got a nicer pour spout on it to get into the bottles. So I will move it there. And then I have my little lotion containers here. They probably could hold 250 grams if you didn't have the um, pump spout in it, if you just had a cap on top. But because I have the pump spout in it, I only do 225 grams in mine um, to allow room for that pump to be in there. Uh, it leaves a little bit of headspace at the top of it. I probably could push it to, I don't know, 230, 240, that sort of thing. But uh, I just, I like the number of 225. So I just chose to keep going that route. I've wandered off here because I was sure I did 200 grams. But of course, as you see in the bottle, it's not full. And I'm like, what? What is happening here? <laughs> why? Why is 200 grams not filling my bottle properly? So I've gone over to check my other bottles and uh, determined that, nope, it's 225. <laughs> so I'm just going to top it up. I'm pretty happy with the orange color that it came out to here as well. Um, looks pretty good and there's me second guessing the 225 shooting for 250 which of course did not work out because I still have to get that pump in there so again with things that I don't make all the time there's lots of double checking and second guessing sometimes um, to make sure that I get what I want out of it and then uh, a nice note to myself in the recipe would be super helpful, but I can tell you right now, I know I did not go back and do that. That would have been really, really smart of me. So Valentine's Day is coming up in the shop here soon, and I've already had people starting to come in and buy gifts and things. Um, been putting together little kind of gift box type things. I had a gentleman in here the other day who's actually getting a birthday gift um, and he was able to get one of our custom made happy birthday cards from one of the vendors in the store. Um, she does uh, everything by hand which is just the cutest little cards. So he was able to get his happy birthday card picked out and then we put together a little gift box for him with uh, a nice and naughty shave cream in it, um, a nice and naughty goat milk soap bar, a blackberry and sugared violets bath balm, and we added a blackberry and sugared violets foaming sugar scrub as well. Um, it filled up the box really nicely and just all of them have that purple colorant to them in some fashion. So they all tied in together really well. And it just made a really nice uh, birthday gift for a friend of his uh, that uh, I think they're gonna be super happy with. And then I always like to, if I can, I like to give a sample, um, a free sample with any purchases. So of course this was a gift for somebody else. So I gave him a free sample of the Sharp Dressed Man Goat's milk soap for him to try and then he mentioned that he had a wife so I made sure to give him uh, a little sample of Dreamcatcher's Gentle Snowfall foaming sugar scrub for his wife to try as well um, and he was so happy with it every single person that I've given a free sample to has just been absolutely thrilled um, with being able to try something uh, so whenever I can I plan to continue that which should be fairly easy. Um, I always have the ends of my soaps that uh, are there when I cut them and the foaming sugar scrubs 
and things like that. I always have just a little bit left over at the end um, so I can do little samples. And then even bath bombs, I usually have enough left over that I can do a little mini bath bomb so that I can hand out a, bath, a mini bath bomb here and there too. But people sure seem to really appreciate that little extra something. Um, I'm still very surprised by that, but uh, I'm glad they appreciate it and I'm glad that I've found a use for it rather than just tossing them. Um, or bringing home a whole bunch of mini samples for myself to use, I guess, um, which is totally an option. But uh, I also like to enjoy a full bar of soap. I like to uh, spoil myself a little bit with the, a full bath bomb and a full bar of soap. And the, the sugar scrubs, I don't mind so much. I always have, um, I don't mind taking little bits of them home and using them up, but uh, I don't know. I just like to have the full version, just like many of you probably would prefer a big bar over just a little sample every now and then. So I think I got, I think it was eight bar or eight um, bottles of lotion here. And then I also did two little 50 gram at the end here. Um, bottles of lotion. One I always put out as the sample and then the other one I'll either sell it as a, a little sample option for somebody just to try a little bit or I might add it to a gift box or um, potentially give it away as a sample as well. Um, or maybe add it to a draw, that sort of thing. So we'll see. But it's just kind of how this recipe plays out as I have those extras. I'm probably going to adjust this recipe slightly so it doesn't do that anymore. Um, I don't, I like to have the one sample, but I'm not sure that I want to have that extra 50 grams there. We'll just see. As long as I'm finding a good use for it and it's making sense, then I'll continue to leave my recipe where it's at. But if I'm not finding uses for those little samples that make sense, I'll probably uh, just adjust the recipe so I don't have them anymore. I'm trying to think of what else has been going in the shop lately. I uh, been just working hard on getting everything stocked up, trying to decide really where I want to focus on things. Do I want to have a ton of stock so that I can fill those wholesale orders or do I want to be more of a pre-order and I'll make the order for you kind of situation. Um, the lotions and things like that, I think I need to really start stocking up on those. I was shocked, you know, I just made those strawberry lotions last week. I think I'm down to two. Like they're just gone immediately. So I, I definitely need to do more. I already have two of these orange satsumas sold. Um, just really trying to focus on where and what products do I want to see on the shelves. Um, I was at one of my stores that I sell in the yesterday and was shocked to find she happens to be one of the busy probably the busiest store um, with regards to people handling the products and what I found is that the wrapping that I use now um, was looked like it was coming loose a bit on, on the soaps uh, and not from shrinkage of the soaps but like from handling of the soaps so it just reiterated that I need that national shrink wrap system for me um, it will prevent that from occurring I'm just super frustrated that it was happening um, to the point where I'll probably have to take my heat gun and re-shrink wrap them uh, next time I go that way which is 
just silly. All that extra handling on my part is not grand. So this here, I am actually just spraying down all the bottles here with rubbing alcohol. Uh, just to get them all cleaned up, um, make sure there's no oils or lotion on the outsides of them at all so that I can get my labels on. So everything is nice and squeaky clean. But yeah, so back to the wholesale order um, and, and the stores. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm really going to run some numbers on the stores that I'm in, see who's actually making money, who's not. Um, make decisions as to where I'm going to keep product, that sort of thing. I do have a lot of product out there right now um, in stores. And what I, I'm definitely noticing is I will be completely sold out of product where I'm at. Um, but those stores maybe aren't selling them as quickly. Um, kind of each store has its own unique way of selling and what it sells. And I, maybe some stock is sitting on their shelves too long. So I got to find a way to do good rotation and all that good stuff. We'll see. Lots and lots of things for me to think about and work on over the next while. But I'm really happy with the way everything is going. Just trying to figure out my streamlining. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm worried about the stores and what they're selling. I'm worried about what I'm selling in my store. I'm worried about what I'm wholesaling. I'm also on this big kick right now that I really want to start making candles and trying to figure out how I incorporate that into everything. Um, I'm just in this growth phase and trying to figure out my direction, I guess. So we shall we shall see which way I end up going. But for now, I just keep working hard at stocking everything up and getting it ready. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how, how it ends up going, I guess. So my labels here, I did make these ones in Canva. Um, I, I am, I do enjoy it for me making my labels and getting kind of those custom designs, that sort of thing. Uh, I went away from the teal color that I have on my soaps um, for this just because, I don't know, it just looks better with white, I think. They stand out better. I did the same thing with my foaming sugar scrubs. They've got the same labels. And uh, I just feel like for this particular product, the white labels look much better. And they're super, super cute. They've got the little goat on them. And I'll show you at the end here just so you can see them really close up. But they're, I'm really happy with these labels. Um, the only thing that I would change and actually did change is I felt like the ingredients and everything were just a titch too small. So I actually upped them so that the next batch that I print off will be a little bit bigger. You can read it, but it's, I don't know, I, I felt like it would benefit from a little bit bigger. So I adjusted that slightly. But overall, pretty happy with the way that these are turning out. Let me know what you guys think of my orange Satsuma lotion. And if you want to try it out, definitely swing by the shop. I've got some samples for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will talk to you again soon.